We are Frank in the Heartstrings. I'm Frank here, and this is Dave, and we are at. Red, no, Glastonbury. <laughs> yeah. Glastonbury Festival of Music and Performing Arts. People always talk about Glastonbury and stuff like that, and that's the ultimate festival to go to. And it's always been an ambition of mine to come to Glastonbury, but to come for the first time and actually play it, you know, it's just nuts. Like, you can't put it into words how, how, how the scale of the place, like, you can't comprehend the scale of the place. It's absolutely massive. You know? I've been five, six, five or six times as a punter before, and um, I always felt slightly patronising. Because you go back and tell people you don't understand until you've been there. But till then, and then people go and it's like, and they come back and do exactly the same thing. And I said the same thing to Frankie and a couple of the lads who hadn't been. I hope they're not let down because it's, there's, there's festivals and there's Glastonbury, isn't it? And it is a benchmark gig. And it is a thing we've worked hard for. And it's a thing that's not wasted on any of us. What we wasted. <laughs> well, it's just an amazing tradition, isn't it? It's, a, it's, it's an English institution, really, now, isn't it? So to be 40 years old and, you know, long may it continue because it's a beautiful thing. And it's something we should be very proud of to have as a country, you know, and um, especially on the hottest day of the year so far. It's, you know, people forget how beautiful this country is, really. And, you know, you have to go, like, 10 minutes outside of any major town and you see picturesque scenes like this, you know, and you should really cherish it because it's a wonderful thing. And we've walked past all these famous people Obviously, you don't give us the time of day, which is fair enough. But um, <laughs> seeing Michael Davis, he's the only, only person I want to, to, talk to, to shake his beard. I've seen him on Guess Who a few times. Like. <laughs> 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 to be honest, I'm not YouTube's biggest fan, so um, I wasn't particularly fazed by the fact that they pulled out. It's nice to say the gorillas brought all the special guests with them, though. I didn't catch him because I was watching Flame and Lifts, but to bring people like Lou Reed and Marky e. Smith out, oh, that's pretty special. And it's, I think it's better than um, seeing Bono prance around in his rose tinted uh, glasses. Well he probably does a lot of pulling out saying he's prepared to be poor. <laughs> he's prepared to be poor? He's an ex poor. Who? Paul Bono. What are you talking about? Bono was a poor. Of course he was. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought when I, when I saw it on the website I thought he'd like sort of pulled off. I thought Christ he's done something interesting. But apparently not. <laughs> no, he wants to come back next year and spoil it for everyone. <laughs> <laughs>